Or anybody else that might be doing it. World, this craziness. Oh, it's not that bad. It's crazy. It's looking. not bad. It's it just looks like you have a hand of tattoo. No, it looks like I got burned. Let me see. Welcome back to the channel. Hit the like button if you enjoy this video. If you don't like it, leave a comment why, and that would be great. Hey, check it out. We're gonna do an update on a lot of the blood, blood tails, short tail pythons, blood pythons. We had requests to update those. We're gonna do that today. Hillary has some crazy operation going on upstairs. Tell us what's happening here. Mm -hmm. um, it's called fibroblasting. And um, like I was just telling Leia, it's essentially like pew pew, little lasers firing. And so it's gonna make these little dots. And essentially it, it's kind of like a resurfacing sort of and helps your body like create more collagen. And it's supposed to help ease fine lines. <laughs> How is that? <laughs> great, it's great. And she also has some crazy operation that she wants us to do. So we might have to take a break from this video and What's gonna happen? head for the creek where there's no Wi-Fi to avoid uh, some kind of FEMA signal that's happening, I guess. And, and we'll go look for some nudes down there with the kids when we take that break. And maybe we'll even bust out the Blue Beauty and do the update on him in this video as well. I don't know if we will or not. For sure, it just depends on how much time we have. But speaking of time, let's stop wasting it. Let's start with the first big short tail python, which is a blood python, which is a short tail python. <sighs> it's a big girl, barely fits in the screen. This is, of course, Sangria, our big girl, our very first blood python that we ever got from Giant Keeper Reptiles at the San Diego Reptile Super Show back in 2015, I believe that was. And she is looking great. She's laid several clutches for us here. We have some of her babies that we're going to check out that have been growing up. She's just a beautiful blood python and super chill, you know, from that time when she was a little baby striking at the camera to, to now when she just hangs out with kids and is is super cool and mellow and relaxed. Just a big, beautiful python bronger's my. We've made several videos about blood python care and keeping in the past, and I'll link those videos down in the description below if you wanna check out more details on blood pythons and, and how to keep them. Also, another re really great channel is Dan Megano Snakes. Really a very knowledgeable guy, knows a lot about um, short tail pythons and has lots of great information on them on his channel. So, yeah, Sangria, looking big, looking beautiful, getting her weight back on. Maybe she'll produce another clutch uh, next year, maybe not. As of right now, she's putting on weight really nicely, so I don't see a problem um, with pairing her up in, say, I don't know, a few months or so. But we'll just kind of see how all that goes, and we'll just play it by ear. Right, Sangria? Ear. No, she doesn't know what I'm talking about, because snakes don't have ears. I, I wish I'd, I'd feel, uh, I don't know why I'm explaining that. Snakes don't have outside holes for their ears. One of the few things that separates them from lizards as far as species, um, right? <laughs> and this is a blood python that not only do we not get as a, whoa, baby, we didn't produce him. And uh, this is our buddy Travis Johnson over at Living Legless Reptiles. This is his boy who has been Sangria's boyfriend for the past few years. I named him Sangre because he didn't have a name when he got here. So Sangre seemed like it was a proper name for him to be Sangria's boyfriend. But he's a Matrix, uh, possible het albino, and he's a good dude. A little huffy, but he's cool. He's never tried to bite me or nothing like that, so he's a, he's another chill blood python. And blood pythons, I know, had a bad rap for a while. And I think it's just the more generations you get bred in captivity, the more cool they become, or the more, uh, docile by nature because they're not having to defend themselves in the wild for multiple generations. I think that breeds down and they're like, okay, we're chilling with people now. Pretty cool. He will be the dad of any future clutch of Sangria in the near future. Uh, maybe look to move outside to something like Goldeneye or 007s or, or something along those lines. Uh, I really like those uh, animals as well, um, as far as morphs go, so we'll see. Ha, ha, ha. 
<laughs> All right, guys, find us some newts. A little herping break in the creek from the blood pythons. So the thing I was talking about, Hillary with her FEMA thing, she said there's some kind of thing that like FEMA sending out a signal across phones in our area around this time. So she wanted us to turn off all of our phones and turn off the Wi-Fi of the house. And I was like, okay, if we're gonna do that, might as well come down here where there's absolutely no Wi-Fi signal whatsoever or cell service, if it's that serious, you know? But then I'm thinking, okay, so we're down here hiding from the FEMA signal and so that we don't have whatever happens. I don't know, if you guess you got the vaccine and the, whatever signal they're gonna send out is not gonna be good. It sounds like some crazy conspiracy stuff to me. And not that some conspiracy theories don't work out to be true, but why is she at the house getting her face blasted with lasers right now? Right, Bright Eyes? <laughs> Does that seem a little crazy to you? <laughs> yeah, I can tell by looking on your face that you agree. That is crazy. <laughs> Well, they didn't find any newts, but I'm actually surprised there's even water down here. Usually this creek is bone dry by this time at the end of summer and into the fall, October. There's no water, so it just kind of shows what a gnarly winter we had this last fly. Get off me. You think that's funny? There's flies all over us. Let's get out of here. See how mommy's face... No, that's, all right, back to the blood pythons. And I got this big girl's a little wet and dirty. But this is Droplet. She was the first baby that we held back from a pairing from Sangria and Sangria. And she is a matrix. And she is, like, yeah, she's oh, a little dirty and wet. And that's, that's fine. Maybe one day we'll produce babies here as well. Uh, some future breeding, find some different male for her down the line. But um, as for now, she's just kind of hanging out, doing her blood python thing. And not quite as big as mom, but she was hatched in what was it, uh, April of 2019? Did I say that already? And she's, oh well, look, she's long today. Go for a little crawl there. Let's have that. Come on, do a little crawl. Let's go. Of course, when I say, okay, don't crawl. Do not crawl forward, snake. That's pretty cool. Did you know blood pythons would do that little rectilinear motion, kind of like their uh, distant cousins, the or near cousins, the gaboon viper? There's that little straight line rectilinear crawling thing with the ribs. You get to see it. It was pretty cool. I don't know if you guys can see it on camera. Hopefully you can see it. Pretty cool to witness that happening. Um, yeah, snakes are cool. Love snakes. They're awesome. Here we have another beautiful matrix that we raised up here. This is Blend. This was a snake that Noah picked and had Noah has been caring for and keeping. And he's also a Matrix, as I mentioned, and he was hatched in April, March of 2021. So he's just a little dude doing his little dude thing, growing steadily but slowly and as our slow feeding schedule allows. And yeah, he's looking good. He's, he's another good one. I mean, you know, he, he started out like he was just destroying Noah when he first picked him out of the tub. He's like, I want that one. He's biting the crap out of me. Um, but now he's just chilling, just like the, well, he's a little bit, little jumpy there, aren't you, bud? Tiny bit jumpy. Not too bad, though. Not too bad. Just getting used to the chin pads again. Yeah. Yeah. Blend. We've got one more short tail. And that would be Matilda here, our female uh, Sumatran short tail python, orange head, that we got from our buddy Matt over to O'Malley Morphs. Um, awesome dude, Matt. Hopefully see him at Tinley right now as you guys are watching this video. He's a cool dude. She's a cool snake. I love that black tongue. Just, whoa, whoa, it's getting nuts up there. So yeah, uh, cool snake. Gift from a great friend and she's doing really well over here. Just love the little pink lining on the outside of her head. She really hasn't really changed much since she got here. She looks exactly the same as she did when she first arrived here in her little box. And that's cool. I don't know if we should go check in on Hillary and see how her face is doing. <laughs>
like it is. I, I thought I smelled something. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> is your skin burning, Mom? A little bit. How's your face, Mama? I look, look crazy. You can't show me. Oh, come on. We got to see. We got to see the aftermath. Come on. You can see the after after. No, let's just see. Like, we can see it later, too. And it just, it's just to see what the process looks like. Anybody else that might be doing it. world, this craziness. Oh, it's not that bad. It's crazy. It's looking. not bad. It's it just looks like you have a henna tattoo. No, it looks like I got burned. Let me see. Let me see. Oh, someone's calling. Sorry. Hello. Hello. Hi. It just looks like a henna tattoo. It looks like a henna face tattoo. It's not that bad. Is what? He, he's been getting video footage, and I said, you can't show me like this. Yeah. And he said, well, I'm just super zooming. So I think he's just like <laughs> zooming in on the spot. What's that? So they can't tell it's you? It it's just a spot? No, no, right? he's definitely getting my face in there. Oh. But he oh. won't put it on there if I say so. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody got their first tooth. Kind of hard to, kind of hard to make it out, but um, it's in there. Oh, very nice. Mm, oh. <laughs> Get that out of your eye, friends. <laughs> oh, yellow. Hey, brother, can we see that tooth? Hey, friends, can we see that tooth? Let me see. Are you feeling it with your tongue? Let me see. I want to see that tooth. Let me see that tooth. Let me see. Open up. Oh, I saw it. I saw it. 